dangerous weather from the south to the Midwest. Wildfires right now burning in the Texas Panhandle, the largest, about 500,000 acres and 0% contained. Meanwhile, those tornadoes reported in at least three states as the strong storms moved across the country last night. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. At least five massive wildfires burning in the Texas Panhandle. Oh my gosh. Record heat, dry land and strong winds fueling the flames. Half a million acres burning in the largest fire. You can see smoke filling the skies. There were houses and structures that were burning. There was so much of it going on. Governor Greg Abbott issuing disaster declarations for at least 60 counties. Evacuation orders in place in some areas. Multiple school districts canceling classes today. It has been difficult for firefighters to make progress with how rapidly the fire is growing and spreading. So they've been prioritizing life safety, evacuating residents. The fire is even forcing a nuclear weapons facility to partially evacuate and pause operations. We can't hold it. We got fire on both sides of us. We can't stay. Let's pull out. We got too many spots. Flames engulfing these vehicles on a major highway while residents desperately try to escape. Dozens of buildings damaged in the inferno, but no injuries or deaths have been reported. <laughs> Meanwhile, other parts of the country also dealing with extreme weather. At least nine reported tornadoes in three states, including Illinois. And in the city of Geneva, the tops of trees snapped right off, some toppling over. Debris scattered across the neighborhood. The storm now moving east. And in Texas, those gusty winds will be a bit less severe today, and the record heat is now over, so that will likely help with managing the fires. Some areas even expecting rain and snow Thursday. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.